Listen, what are we going to do tonight? We are going to do a window pane block with a serger, or also called the attic windows. You could also do it with a sewing machine, so that's not really a problem. And here is the, the quilt that I have. That's upside down. Let's try it the right way. Okay, this is the window pane, or attic window block. And you think, oh my God, there's Y seams in there. I don't want to do that. Yeah, there are no Y seams in this. And when it's done with a serger, it's really, really fast. So I also have written instructions on how to make this particular quilt. So if you email me at waltzquilt at yahoo.com, I'll be happy to send you the written instructions on how to do this. But this is one seam to make this block. Can you believe that? So super simple. So um, you need dark, uh, uh, you can do it different way. If you want to do a night window, you'd put dark, a medium and a light or two mediums together. Uh, I decided to do mine out of batiks uh, and, and other stuff. <laughs> So I put light in the middle. You could put an embroidery or fussy cut something to put, be in this window. It's up to you. Um, and it actually makes it three-dimensional. Although, I do have to tell you, I wasn't crazy about the, uh, the three-dimensional. Because, um, yeah, little kitties like to tear up the three-dimensional stuff. So I actually just top stitch these down or blind stitch these down so that they're flat. But otherwise, this is super easy to do. Okay, so let's get started. You need three blocks, three squares. That's all you need. So your background or your your window panes, or not the glass, but the the window, the sides of it. You need. I'm just going to use a medium and a dark and a light, or a medium, two different me, or a medium and a dark, and for the the, the window part, you need an 8 inch square. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut these into a diagonal. So let me get out my cutter. Oh, I got a new iron. So no more taped irons. I got one of these steam press, or st uh, it's called a steam fast. Um, you can buy them in a quilt shop or at Nancy's Notions, and they're a lot more expensive. I got this at Walmart for $12.99, and it works wonderfully. It doesn't have an auto shut off. I haven't tried it with water yet, but it goes really hot, really fast. And what I like about it is you, the last one, I broke the handle on it by just pressing down when I was, when I was uh, pressing, really pushing hard when I want it to stay really nice. Uh, I can push and, and it's fine. The only thing I say is this part gets a little bit hot, you know, but I don't touch it, so no big deal. You can also wrap the cord, but I don't. It's always on. It's always plugged in, so I like my new iron. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to cut these on the diagonal. So I'm just going to take my ruler and my rotary cutter and just cut from diagonal to diagonal. One. If you wanted to fussy cut it, you would put your design right in this corner right here because that's the part that's going to show. Okay, and this one. Did I, whoops, I didn't make that six by six, did I? Um, you can make these blocks pretty much any size you want to, but um, you want to make the outer block, I mean, the, you want to make the window panes uh, the, to about two inches smaller than the central window part. Diagonal, and... And this is enough to make two blocks. So this actually doesn't use, it uses a little more fabric than a traditional attic window. However, you don't have any wall seams. I'll give up the inches, it's fine. Okay, super easy, wait till you see this. Okay, now we're going to thread the machine. I'm going to thread the machine for a normal three thread narrow overlock. 
Oh, Nina said that I finally pieced my first block together. It was supposed to be 12 and a half inches, but it was it turned out only to be uh, 12 and a quarter inches, and I had to take it all apart. I'm not sure what to do. I tried to email you about it. Okay, I didn't get the email. Although, go to Sharon Schomber, S-C-H-A-M-B-E-R, squaring a block. You can make one bigger or smaller by a half an inch, no problem, and you'd be surprised. You want to take a scant quarter inch, which makes it just like one thread less than a quarter inch seam. Okay. And you can do this with a sewing machine, so this is not hard. Uh, you don't have to have a serger. Just a serger is going to give you a, it's just so much faster. Serger sews really fast. It's going to be my medium. So I essentially put my light and dark together, right sides together is red making me crazy You're going to fold it wrong sides together okay I'm going to take my di diagonal so let me get my wonder clip so I can clip this together you don't really have to use pins but I'm going to clip mine together I'm going to okay so put this so that let me scoot back a little. Let's see. Okay, my fold is down. I am going to take my, I guess, medium. It doesn't matter which one you... It, you want to play with round with them to see what they look like. And put this diagonal here like that. So that it looks like... So it looks like that. And I'm going to take my dark one. Again, so I'm going to line up the diagonal seams on the six inch squares. I'll put it on here, and I want the fold at the bottom. Okay, here. And I'll put a clip at the bottom just to hold it. I normally just just hold it in my hand while I'm sewing. Okay, my settings here is I, on my serger. I want to put my blade width at M. I'm using a three-thread narrow overlock using the right needle. And I'm going to put my stitch length at about two. Differential feed at neutral. And then I... And then the differential feed here is at neutral, and this is going to be on overlock. Although we just threaded it, always, always, always test. So I'm just going to just give this a little test to make sure that the stitching looks right. Yep, looks good. My stitch looks good. We're ready to go. Okay. You're not going to believe how fast this goes. Okay, now. I'm going to stitch on right onto a point like that. Let's go closer now. Sometimes stitching on a point like that is an issue with a serger because this end will get all crunched up under the under the needle and it end up making a mess. So what you want to do is make sure the needle is at its highest point. I'm going to raise the presser foot. Okay, I'm going to move that clip. Of all three of these, I'm going to put that right up to the needle. And I usually I'll hand walk it to make sure it's in there good and it's not chewing and it's not so we're good to go there we go 
actually not cutting anything off, just little crumbs. Stretch it because these diagonals are on a bias. So you don't want to stretch them. Let's get back. Open this up. Voila. There's your block. All done. Let me get my pressing mat. turn it on and it says it takes only I'm going to press this towards the dark well here I'll first of all I will press it to set my stitches and press this open or press it to one side Open this up, put the other point up here, and then just give it a good press. That, that couldn't be easier. Awesome, huh? Okay, let's do another one because that was really fast. So, press the big one right sides together. Put the medium one on the diagonal, match those points, and I'm going to sew along the diagonal of the of the uh, six inch block. Put this wrong sides down. Okay. the dark to the point press it down now you can put in a sashing you can put the blocks together if you like or put in a sashing uh, on where'd that quilt go on this one I used a sashing So that's it. Super fast, super easy. You can just sew them together. There, and now I'll just sew this. Okay. You could get a baby quilt done in an evening. Very quick, very easy. Okay, that was it. That is so cool. So like I said, it's very fast to get a quilt done. So, let's see, to recap, this is a short lesson tonight because that was just so simple. That's about all I have for you. So if you want the instructions for the whole baby quilt, just send me an email at waltzquilt at yahoo.com. So anyway, I will see you guys Saturday, and I hope you like today's really short but sweet lesson. But this is a super fast. I can't wait to see. You're, you're going to want to make these. And like I said, you don't have to sew a serger. Just do a quarter-inch seam along that side seam with a sewing machine. doesn't have to be a serger. And throw in some sashing and done like that. I'll see you guys Saturday. Love you. Bye.